Today on Zoom. Okay, this was from Texas. Fort Worth, Texas. Should we take it? Texas is down there. Yeah, sure. Let's take it. Cool. <laughs> Today we're going to launch an egg. Oh no. Go. Come on, Zoe. Zoe. Zoe, come on, Zoe. Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. Hey. Oh, my God, come on, Zoe. Zoe, Zoe, Zoe. Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation. America's investment in the future. And the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. And by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Rochester, New York, sent us this fun thing. I've taped a piece of paper onto Jessica's back. Now I'm going to draw a picture. At the same time, she has to draw what she thinks I'm drawing. Okay, Jess, ready? All right, let's do some drawing. <laughs> okay. Don't stop, just keep going. Oh, okay. This is so easy. That's kind of cool. Okay. That okay, something tells me I'm a little off, but... <laughs> you are. You want to see it? Yes, I do. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Look, I actually got it right. See? This is the first half of the heart. That's the second half of the heart. And that's the arrow. <laughs> it's just in a different position. Okay. I'm done. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> Plain thing. Well, okay. So <laughs> My turn. Wait, hold on. I'll see if you guys can. <laughs> yeah, look at here. His antenna and there's his body. Thank you. It's hard to join people. Closest. You didn't draw a pot of gold, but that's okay. Oh, a pot of gold. We was finishing this. If you have any zingers, send them to Zoom. 
What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's the worst lunch you've ever had at your school? The worst lunch was rubber chicken. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Not really any lunch. Cheese salads. Because the cheese was like, it wasn't right. Pizza with cold tomato sauce. Chicken teriyaki. Soggy chicken nuggets with crusty barbecue sauce. Ravioli, sloppy joe. It was disgusting. It had beans. It was cooked up, chopped, and disgusting. The worst lunch ever served at school was burnt pizza. Brussels sprites. They are disgusting. No fish. All the lunches were good. Uh -huh. Nathan S. of Ottawa, Iowa, sent us an email telling us how to make a wind chime. They're easy to make, they sound great, and they make great gifts. The best part about them is you can make them using recycled objects you find around the house. Here's what you need. Colored string, a coat hanger, and objects to hang on your wind chime, like a CD, a clip, a soda can, some old keys, and some silverware. Here's what you do. Lay your objects out on the table. Think about which ones you want to hang on your wind chime. I chose a fork, a clip, a potato peeler, some rings, a bottle opener, a CD, some nuts and bolts, a cookie cutter, and some soda cans. Make sure you rinse out the soda cans before you use them. I painted my soda cans so that they really stand out. After the paint's dry, tie a piece of string to the tab on the top of the soda can. Then, tie a piece of string to the rest of the items you're going to hang on your wind chime. Make the string different lengths. Then, tie the objects onto the hanger. The heavier item should be towards the middle so that it balances out. This is pretty light, so I'm going to put it on the end. outside and test it. We can't go outside, so I'm going to hang it on the string and give it a good shake. Cool. Make any changes that you think might make it better. Experiment with your wind chime so it sounds just the way you want it to. Enjoy! <laughs> My name is Jennifer Carter. I am 10 years old, and I fly model rockets. Today we're going to launch an egg. We're putting a piece of styrofoam at the bottom of the nose cone in there, so the egg won't get crushed by that. Now we stuff the egg into here, then we put the egg in and then you take the second piece of styrofoam that and put it on the top so it doesn't fall out then you put this attach this onto here and screw it on now we fold up the parachute then we stick it the parachute in first then we attach the whole entire nose cone that has the egg in it. And now we fill out the launch card. You put down the owner's name and any other information or comments about my rocket. My comment is that my rocket does have an egg in it. And now we go up and safety check it. Out on uh, high power. This pattern. is where we safety check our rockets. Adult supervisors handle the safety check. Now we uh, attach these launch clips to the igniter. 
We have to wait in back of the flags for like safety reasons. On pad 11, we have Jennifer Carter with an omeloid. It has a raw egg in it. The objective is to recover it without breaking the egg. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh no. Jack, we're trying to catch it. Gotta go near the car. Oh no, the parachute didn't go out. I folded, I think I folded up the parachute too tight and it didn't go out right and now it landed too hard and the egg broke. But there's no harm done to the rocket. This is only its fourth flight. Ew. We're gonna try launching the egg again. This time I'll be more careful packing the parachute. We hope we have better luck than we did last time. fun to make a game out of it. The object of the game is to use Zoom Mail to visit the greatest number of states while traveling the shortest distance. Each team starts in Massachusetts because that's where TV studio is located. Then, to see which state they go to next, players take turns picking letters out of the Zoom Mail hamper. As they go from state to state, players use strength to keep track of the path they take to travel across the country. Here are some rules for the game. In addition to Massachusetts, each team must travel to at least two more states. Also, if a team chooses not to use a letter they picked, they can skip their turn. But five inches is added to the measurement of their string. The game ends when one team gets to the West Coast. Then, you have to figure out the team, each team's score. You do this by measuring the length of the string and dividing it by the number of states that team has visited. The team who has the lowest score wins. Okay. So, Elisa and I are a team, and you and Claudio are a team. You two are the male pickers, and me and Caroline are the string. Stringers. Okay. <laughs> you go first. Really? Yes. Okay. Looks like it's nice. Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. From Kelly G. Let's go to Ohio. Ohio. Okay. Ohio. What's M.O. Montana or Montana? Missouri. No, I think Montana. Missouri. Yeah. Is it? No, it's Missouri. Should we take it? It's sure. a long way. Well, where is it? Right here. Missouri. Missouri. Oh, sorry. So let's take it. Okay. I thought you meant. I'm off on my way to Missouri. Oh, this ball is getting tortured. There you go. Pavel, Utah. 
Let's take it. Yeah. Wall, South Dakota, from Alexis M. Do you want to take it? It's a, yeah. Tell me. Sure. That sounds good. Okay. Hey, this one's pretty. Who has a zoo on it? Zoe G. Uh huh. Oh wow. <laughs> Iowa City, Iowa. Wow. Zoe, have you been tricking us? <laughs> Is there an Iowa, Iowa City, Iowa? Yeah. I don't think I, we should take I it. I was the yellow one. Yeah, but I, I, don't think he, I don't think we should take it because it's, um, where is it? It's, it's back. It's back. We don't really want to go back. No. We're not. Clayton W.I. What's W.I.? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Should we go to Wisconsin? It's right there, but it's going back, though. Let's, let's not take it because we don't, we want to go forward, not back. Okay. This is from Nina T. New York. It just says New, New York. York. No. <laughs> That's um, New way York. It's really, really, yes. really far back. Pretty low, though. If we, if wow. we um, don't take that, do we get five inches of string added on? Yes. Yeah. Okay, this was from Texas. Fort Worth, Texas. Should we take it? Texas is down there. Yeah, sure. Let's take it. <laughs> oh, the string patterns are so cool. I know. Caroline, oh, Martina, California. Oh, oh, California. So you guys are ending the game. Good job. Okay, wow. Okay, so now let's cut the string and add it all up. Okay. Yeah. I have a feeling you guys yeah, won. won because we missed a lot of string. Here's how many states we went to. Three. And Jessica and Claudia went to three, too. Our string was 41 inches long plus five for skipping a turn, which is 46. And their string was 43 inches long with two fives, 10, which is 53 inches long. So when the math came out, 46 divided by three is 15.3 repeating. And Jessica's and Claudio's 53 divided by three is 17.6 repeating. So we won by a few points. Uh -oh. I <laughs> Good job, okay. oh. And I think that we won because even though we had the same number of states, our states were closer together. Uh, Good job, guys. Yeah, you guys did really well. Woohoo! <laughs> we were so close. Yeah. You can try this at home. Get a map of the United States. It doesn't have to be as big as the one we used. Keep track of where people live who wrote to Zoom. See how long it takes you to get across the country. Hey, Lisa. Yeah? What stays in the corner but travels all around the world? I don't know. A stamp. Oh, how cute. <laughs> I get it. Zoom Tales. Dear Zoom, I am sending you my story, Why There's Day and Night, a legend. My story won first place in Kara May's Reading Rainbow Young Writers and Illustrators contest. I wrote this story for a school project when we were studying Native Americans. It would be great if you could show it on Zoom. Thanks. Michael C. Louisville, Colorado. Many sunsets ago, some Native Americans were very scared because the sun and the moon fought many, many times. The sun would get red hot with anger and would start fires on Earth. The moon would get so mad, he would throw meteors down to Earth. That's how the moon's craters were formed. One time, the moon got so mad, he hid from the sun's rays, so the sky was dark. The sun went looking for the moon behind every star in the universe. He went so far into space, the sun's light wouldn't reach Earth. It was dark for three months and very, very cold. Finally, a small child named Falling Leaf went to the chief of the tribe and said, This has been going on for a very long time. Can't we do something about it? The chief said, yes, I will meet with the elders and talk about what to do. When they met, they decided to send a giant bald eagle up with a message to the sun. The message said, we are hungry down here. There is no food because your light is gone. The bison, elk, and deer have moved away to look for light. Please stop fighting. When the sun found the moon, he showed him the message. The sun told the moon, We've been fighting too much about whose light will shine on Earth. Let's make a day last for 12 hours. I'll get eight hours, and you'll get four. That's unfair, said the moon. Let's make a day 24 hours, and we each get 12. Hmm, said the sun. I guess that's all right. Far, far away on the planet Earth, 
the slightest bit of light came into view. The Native Americans cheered. From that day on, the sun and the moon learned how to compromise and began to share. And that's why we have day and night. The end. Si quieres compartir tus ideas y tus cuentos con nosotros, chequea la página de Zoom en el internet. Búscala en www.pbs.org. Si no tienes una computadora en tu casa, es probable que puedas usar una en tu biblioteca más cercana. Zinger from Courtney G. of Tewksbury, Massachusetts. Arrange four pencils so that they look like a glass with a stem. Put a coin in the glass. Now, moving only two pencils, free the coin from the glass, but still keep the shape of the glass. Okay. okay. I think I have an idea. One. One. Two. It's almost the shape of the glass. No, I think these have to be up like that. Oh, the math doesn't work. Okay. Cool, let me try. Okay. One. Two. But it's still trapped oh, in the glass. It's on the other side. Okay. Alright, now let's see. I'm thinking you can put this pencil here. And then put that pencil there, but it's still oh, yeah. in the glass. I mean, now it's sideways in the glass. Wait a minute. Maybe it does work. Nope. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, uh, move that pencil there. Nope, because then you can only move one pencil. And that pencil? <laughs> it looks like a glass, sort of. Not really. A little. What if? Pencil. Over. <laughs> Just guess I put it somewhere here. Oh, and then this is here, and then you move this here. You did it. And that's free from the glass. Wow. Oh, cool. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, awesome. That was tough. Let's try it again. <laughs> <laughs> Can you figure out what this is? Did you guess what it is? It's a lemon crab. Max S. of Winchester, Indiana sent us this cool video and told us how to make it. Believe it or not, all you have to do is twist the ends of a paper towel. Just gonna twist them up. It's kind of better if we make it tight, so they don't come undone. Tight. Mighty tight. Okay. Uh. Okay. Then just put it over a lemon, and with a partner, roll it back and forth on the table. Okay, boy. Okay, boy. I love it. It looks so real. I know. It's like there's something. And the way it, you, you it's it. I like how it's going like this. Ah! You don't know where it's going to go next. I, I love it. You're so cute. Oh, oh. <laughs> Are you sure it's moving up? Ah, just a lemon. <laughs> do you know any more phenomena like this one? If you do, send it to Zoom. of Hamilton, Ohio, nominated Samantha H. for today's Zuma Kamade. Samantha volunteers at her local animal shelter where she walks and plays with homeless dogs. Great going, Samantha. You'll be receiving your Zuma Kamade certificate in the mail. Race from Greg D. of Baltimore, Maryland. Okay, you guys ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. Come on, Zoe. Zoe, come on, Zoe. I don't know how to do it. Come on, Zoe. 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 Come on,
because of every one of you. Who? You. Feed us. A recipe. Teach us. Biology. How to jump. Show us a trick, a riddle, or some poetry. So if you want to see it coming out of your TV, type it up, write it down, and ship it out to Zoom. How email. Send it to Zoom. Or Zoom. Because you call the tune. If you got a video, give it up. We'll put it on the show. Or super zing is B-double-O-M-2. If you will be seeing, I'll find the screen. Write your name and your address. And do what? Take a wild guess. Email. Send it out to Zoom. Or Zoom. You call the tune. Email. Send it to Zoom. To who? Triple W dot TVS dot org. Email. Go to who? To Zoom. B-double-O-M-5-3-5-0. Boston Act. All submissions become the property of Zoom and will be eligible for inclusion in all Zoom media. This means that we can share your ideas with other Zoomers on TV, the web, and print materials, and in other Zoom ways. So, send it to Zoom. Zoom. Hey, Claudio. Yeah, Lisa? What has one letter... Oh, sorry. <laughs> What has one word in it that... <laughs> Sorry, I snorted and it hurt. Hey, Lisa. Yeah? What stays in a corner but travels all around the world? <laughs> Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting. And by... Contribution to your PBS station. From viewers like you. Thanks! A production of WGBH Boston.